ground is still rumbling and rolling in Haiti this morning. Good day, Wisconsin Weekend. Meteorologist Doug Higgins has a look at the aftershocks. Good morning, Doug. Uh, good morning, Pete. Yeah, we're still receiving reports of aftershocks days after the initial quake hit. We're going to start with a map of Haiti right here. Here's Port-au-Prince and in the southern peninsula. That's where we're still uh, getting a little bit in the way of rumbling in terms of three areas reporting aftershocks. Now, these aftershocks are not major quakes registering this morning at 2.56, a 4.7. But when you get a 4.7, you can feel a little bit of shaking. And for buildings that are normal, that's okay, but all of their buildings are damaged. So any shaking to damaged buildings will obviously lead to the chance of them falling or at least weakening more. So that's why people are still outside staying away from those damaged buildings. Uh, yesterday, two earthquakes, 4.8 and a 4.5, both occurring yesterday morning. But at this point in time, it looks like the aftershocks are starting to decrease in intensity and in coverage. Now here's an interesting image. We've got a before and after image from Google Maps. Uh, you can locate the link for this on our participate tab on my blog that I have on here. This was before the quake, the presidential palace. This is after the quake. Notice the big crack right through the roof. And in Port-au-Prince, we've got this street right here. Notice this red roof. This is kind of a, uh, a reference point. Well, there's the red roof still there, but all of the buildings just to the left of that are all basically destroyed. Again, you can find uh, more links on this on Google Maps. Uh, go to with our Participate tab on our website, fox11online.com, and just find my Aftershocks uh, blog. Pete?